Rays of light reflect or bounce off. This reflection of light is what enables us to see everything around us. Take a look out your window. You see everything in the natural world because it reflects the light of the sun. In this lesson, we are going to learn more about reflection of light. You have learned how an image is formed in a plain mirror using the concept of reflection in the previous lesson. Do you still remember the characteristics of the image? Let's recall back. The characteristics of image formed by a plain mirror is virtual, upright, laterally inverted, and same size as the object. Why do we need light to see? When light falls on an object, some of the light bounces off its surface. We see the object when the reflected light enters our eyes. This is called reflection. The applies the concept of light reflection. Light rays that shine on the mirror will be reflected. What is the relationship between the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection? Let's do an activity to find out. When the angle of incidence is 10 degrees, the angle of reflection also is 10 degrees. When the angle of incidence is 20 degrees, the angle of reflection is also 20 degrees. What can you deduce from this observation? Light reflected obeys the law of reflection. The law of reflection states that the incident ray, the reflected ray, and the normal lies on the same plane. The angle of incidence, I, is equal to the angle of reflection, R. If the angle of incidence, I, is 30 degree, what is the angle of reflection, R? I equal to R. If I is 30 degree, R is also 30 degree. Next, let's look at some applications of reflection of light. Workers at a construction site wear life jackets that have light reflecting stripes so that they can easily be seen by other workers. Emergency triangular reflector is used for vehicle breakdown so that the vehicle can be seen on the road. Using reflective stripes for signboards so that they can be seen easily at night. When you look in the mirror, you can see an image of yourself. On the other hand, when you look at a piece of paper, you cannot see your image. Have you ever wondered why? The mirror has a smooth surface. When light from an object hits a mirror, it bounces off at exactly the same angle from the 90 degree line. Therefore, we see our image clearly. Paper has a rough surface. When light from an object falls on a sheet of paper, the light will bounce off at different angles. Therefore, we cannot see any image. That's all for today's lesson. Thank you.